Uh, Sheldon, your uh, what was it like in in the elements? First of all, and second question: How disappointed are you that uh, you know you, you took the lead briefly, you killed a couple of penalties, you didn't capitalize on that uh, momentum like it looked like you would? Elements obviously took some adjusting to for sure. Um, but as the game went on, you know, the weather seemed to settle down. You know, uh, you know the, really the wind was probably just the biggest factor once the snow stopped. I think even the wind might, might have uh, settled down a little bit. Early in the game, I thought uh, it seemed like in that first period, especially, you know, the sense from our players and their feedback was just that, you know, playing against the wind uh, was, was tough in that first period. Uh, I got a really good push in the second period. Like you said, we we scored some big some goals and, and got some momentum. Their second goal, you know, going off our foot there, that's a tough balance for us, and, and we we just didn't get enough offense after that to to make up for it. Front right, Kevin. Sheldon, um, your thoughts on Austin Matthews tonight? Uh, obviously, another goal, but. He was taking his frustrations out of the end of the game on Rasmus Dahlin there and maybe got him in the neck, uh, that back and forth. What, you, what do you think happened and, and what do you think should happen? I haven't seen it back yet, but, you know, Austin's a competitor and he's competing here today it's like everybody else, but I haven't seen, the, I haven't seen exactly what happened there. And uh, just your thoughts on, on Peter tonight. Did he show you what you wanted to see, or is uh, you have some concerns? Yeah, I thought that? Peter. I thought Peter was good. He made some saves today. It's not an easy environment to, to play in, especially for a goalie. Um, I thought he made made saves and it was good. Obviously, the third goal is a tough one for us, but you know, other than that, nothing you can do on the first one. Uh, nothing you can do on the second one. We we'll put in our own net off a funny bounce, and uh, you know, fourth goal. To pass out and that's off, all that kind of stuff. So some funky goals uh, happening around him, but I thought he, he looked solid, all, all things considered, uh, with you know the environment and everything like that. Back metal, Steve. How uh, how exasperating or frustrating is it to play these bottom half of the league teams and game after game in, in this stretch of schedule come up short? Um, what, what, is it, what is it saying about your team that you can't beat teams that are apparently less than you? Well, I'm, I, I'm not going to read too much into a night like tonight, but certainly, you know, before tonight, you know, we're playing in regular surroundings. It, it's something that uh, we haven't been happy with, uh, for sure. Um, you know, we're, we're going to get more than enough opportunity to play against teams that are not in the bottom half of the league. And uh, we'll read a little more into who we are as a team when that happens. Third row on the left, Mark. Sheldon, what made it hard to generate more offense as the night, per what made it hard to generate offense as the game progressed later stages? Well, I mean, nothing was happening very smooth out there for either team, really. The puck was kind of hot potato for a lot of the game, just bouncing around and, and uh, you know, we had a couple bounces. I mean, shorthanded, we had probably more chances than we had anywhere. Other than that, I thought Buffalo, you know, as we've come to know from playing against them, that they, they do a really good job of protecting the middle of the ice. And uh, they defend that area well. And uh, on a day like today, when it's hard to get inside there, it's, it's, it's challenging. You know, we didn't get a lot of clean looks, especially in that third period, having to kill the penalties. You know, we have, uh, we're playing with the wind in, the, in the, the start of the third period there. It's a chance for us, much like the second period, to, to get our game going a little bit. And then we end up having to kill a couple of penalties, you know, plus starting shorthanded at the beginning of the period there. Um, all those kind of things worked against us a little bit there, uh, but you know we, we were right there in the hockey game, and they find ways to score goals in the period, and, and we don't. We can do a couple more for Coach, far left side. Hey, Sheldon, uh, when the game was close, you did make a, a defensive change in terms of two of your pairs. I'm just wondering what was the thought process behind that. We just we, we thought that Lilligan had a tough tough first period, and we were going to really monitor that in the second and. You know, on, on that uh, on that first goal against there, you know, again, just it looked like it did in the first. So, looked like he was having a tough day. Uh, so we just thought we would change his assignment a little bit and and change the pairs. We can do one more if there's another question. Back, Steve. Who do you start Tuesday night in goal? I'll see. We'll we'll, we'll talk about it. I mean. 
I'm not making too many judgments on our goaltending from today's game, good, good or bad. Uh, I don't think it would be fair to do that um, for anybody. But uh, we'll talk about it. We got games coming up here, and, and uh, you know we'll see how how Peter got got through today. From a health standpoint, I think playing goal in this in this environment is probably as hard the hardest. You can't you don't come back to the bench or they're pumping heat uh, in, into the benches. You're standing out there in the cold all day. Um, so you know, we'll see where he's at. We'll make a decision. We're gonna take an off day tomorrow to kind of get over this, and then we'll get back to it 